the neck and the trap is much closer to the head. No, it's, it's, Tony has not injected it yet, that's why he's making this face. Uh, the reason people make videos on cerebral license recently, I noticed, is because they get an affiliate code from a company. They what annoys me is that I have uh, messages from former subscribers or long-term subscribers in the U.S. and abroad telling me, hey, I'm taking cerebral license to cure my brain fog. What are you doing? What are you talking about? It's not where to inject Cerebralicin? So Leo, you introduced Cerebralicin to the bodybuilding and fitness world as a nootropic. And I've now got some Cerebralicin here uh, from my friend in India, just brought it from India. And you had also given me Cerebralicin a long time ago and you told me some pretty weird places to inject it that I was always really nervous about. And now I've got these new bottles here and I'm gonna inject them, but I wanna make the most use of them. So like, where should I inject them that's the least uh, uncomfortable place so and first still of, the most effective? First of all, I wanted to say that, to answer your question really quickly, the neck and the trap is much closer to the head. No, it's, it's, Tony has not injected it yet, that's why he's making this face. It's a water-based solution, use an insulin needle that's over a 27 gauge, you literally just don't feel it. Well, when you gave it to me a long time ago, I stood it in my butt. I know. And, I, and you told me that wasn't optimal. So unfortunately, there are some people on YouTube talking about cerebralizing that have probably never taken it or if they have very little and they don't know what they're talking about exactly. If you inject it in your quads or your, or your glutes and your lower body, you will have less of an impact in your brain. And you can notice this because brain fog is a perfect proxy of neurogenesis. A perfect proxy. You want you will, to actually feel you brain fog. You want to feel brain you. fog, yeah. Which is weird because we're trying to like get out of brain fog. Well, this is another thing I want to talk about. So it's really annoying that there are a lot of people on YouTube talking about cerebral ice and that don't know what it is. And so I get uh, comments from some people because they're trying to sell it. Because for, for those that don't know, uh, the reason people make videos on cerebral ice and recently I noticed is because they get a affiliate code from a company. They don't know exactly how it works. What annoys me is that I have uh, messages from former subscribers or long-term subscribers in the U.S. and abroad telling me, hey, I'm taking cerebral lysin to cure my brain fog. What are you doing? What are you talking about? It's not going to cure your brain fog. Mm -hmm. Who told you this? Ah, these channels that are trying to spread the thing. So let me be clear. Cerebral lysin is an anti-inflammatory drug. It will lower inflammation in your brain, but it will raise neurogenesis so much that it will increase the, the brain fog overall. For, the, for those that don't know, uh, inflammation causes brain fog, but so do other things, including neurogenesis. So you're going to get more brain fog. What cerebralizin is really useful for is make your brain plastic, so you can adapt to your scenario, uh, different surroundings. So if you get a new event in your life that bothers you, you can accept it, do what you need to do about it, and get through it. Mm. If In a normal scenario, teaching an old dog new tricks, you don't learn the new trick, and you stay focused on what is salient, what is different in your environment. Plasticity, brain plasticity, plasticity changes this. What's wonderful about cerebral lysin is it gives you this plasticity without having to use an SSRI. So you don't get the whole serotonin system's effects, lowering dopamine and so on. You go directly to neurogenesis. But it's not something that's going to make you smarter. I've heard that too. It's not going to reduce your brain fog. Um, people should really stop making up stuff about cerebral lysin. To be honest, to make money from other websites. All right. If you oh, like... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Brother. Neck is better and the trap is better. One thing about Tony, Tony has only two 10 milliliter vials of cerebral lysin. So I explained to Tony, there's another thing that could be useful for others. Two 10 milliliter vials will do nothing for you. You will get brain fog and then it will just die. So you just started neurogenesis and then it will die. It's not going to, to do very much, but we should film the, the 20 milliliters of injection because it'll be interesting just to see you get the brain fog. But for those that are listening, you can't get just 20 milliliters and think it's going to change your life. Is You're going to need 100 or more. Is it going to interfere with my work that day if I do yes. 10 milliliters? Yes. Oh, man. So do it on an off. Don't do it on a day you actually want nootropic performance. Exactly. Do it on an off day yeah. because you're doing it for the long-term benefit. Two days before or something like that. It's a long-term drug. This is not a short term for those that don't know. So actually, we're making the list for our Train With Tony clients about which nootropics to use that work immediately and very effective right now versus ones that you take long-term that build your brain over time mm -hmm. and i think the best nootropic protocol is one that has both of course but some people don't care about you know their mental performance today They're, they they want to just like prevent alzheimer's and, mm. and have a better performing brain later and some people don't care about later they only care about now so that's when it becomes important especially why does it choose. prevent alzheimer's we could talk very briefly about that the reason why is because 
in, in not just Alzheimer's, neurodegenerative disease in general. These diseases occur with two common conditions. One is inflammation in the brain, which cerebrolysin directly lowers, like it lowers, um, uh, I mean, we won't get into inflammatory cytokines, but it lowers inflammation in the brain. And the second thing is cells die over time from this oxidative stress and inflammation in the brain. In or, all, or using drugs. Right? Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> Excited toxicity from drugs. In all so it helps with that? Yes. Oh, it okay. prevents cells from dying. So that's what's key. Yeah. You, your cell could get attacked, but is less likely to give up and die uh, when you have neurogenesis. So when you're a kid and you get hit in the head or you run into a wall, your cells are resistant to die. When you're old, you get hit in the head, your cells want to give up. You should this will change that. Use more relevant examples like when baby mama hits you in the head, <laughs> you'll lose this, less brain cells. This is exactly. By the way, Tony is a victim of domestic abuse. <laughs> for, for real, for real. I'm just a nice guy, never complains. Yeah, that's that. So you'll lose more brain cells. But Tony also has the APOE4 variant, which causes you, and you have the domestic terrorist. So you, you'll lose brain cells. Comment below if you guys want me to post some videos of the domestic abuse of baby mama <laughs> against Tony Huge. <laughs> Subscribe it's to the channel. It's a true story. It's a true story. Yeah. Be swell and swell friends of freedom pioneers of human evolution. <laughs>